we are now touring Jordan. This is the flag of Jordan. This is the political map of Jordan. We can clearly see in the east it borders with Israel and Egypt. While in the north it is with Syria and Lebanon. And in the west it borders with Iraq and Saudi Arabia. To the south is the Gulf of Aqaba. We are now in the city of Amman. Today we will see the town of Madaba and then proceed to Mount Nebo. Next we will see the highlight of our tour that is taking a bath in Dead Sea. We are staying in this hotel in Amman. Our bus has arrived by which we will go to the Mount Nebo and then to the Amman beach on Dead Sea. And this is the busy road in front of our hotel. First we will visit Madaba which is 32 km from here and we'll take around 45 minutes to reach there. On the way we can see the King Hussein Cancer Hospital of Amman. While going to Madaba, we are seeing some places of the city of Amman. This is a busy crossing. We can see police patrolling the city. From here we'll take right turn for Madaba. Madaba is a city in central Jordan. It is best known for its Byzantine and Umayyad mosaics, especially a large Byzantine era mosaic map of the Holy Land. Nearly reached Madaba. Madaba is around 32 km southwest of capital Amman. The Madaba mosaic map is a map of the region dating from 6th century and preserved in the floor of the Greek Orthodox Church of St. George, sometimes called the Church of the Map. And this is the market area of Madaba town. After spending some time in the visitor center, we will see the famous church in Madaba. This photo on the wall of this house shows the royal family of Jordan. These are all souvenir shops in Madaba. We can see while going towards the church. On the way, we can see on the left, this is the Jesus Mosque. Now we will visit the famous Greek Orthodox Church, which is famous for its mosaic works. Guide explained about the famous mosaic map. 
His name is Salmanius. He created or he made a huge mosaic map, okay? And in that time, 6th century AD, the size of the map, it was 16 meter by 19 meter. Contains like 2 million of the mosaic pieces, cubes, or pieces, okay? It takes like 11,000 hours to make it. Syria, Lebanon, Egypt. And also telling about the events or the stories which mentioned in the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Dead Sea, and the Jordan River, number four. Now, you know, the Jordan River, it came from Lebanon, from Hermon Mountain. So from Lebanon through Syria, coming now to uh, Jordan and Israel to go to the Dead Sea. But you know, her friend or her sister telling her not to go because there is no life because of the salt. Ah. Yes. And here in the Dead Sea, we can see there is two boats. The first one carrying wheat. Second one carrying salt. Here you can see the sailor man, the legs of the sailor man and the hands. With two million pieces of colored stone, the map depicts hills and valleys, villages and towns of Palestine and the Nile Delta. The mosaic contains the earliest extant representation of Byzantine Jerusalem, labeled as the Holy City. The floor of the church contains many famous mosaic works. The map provides important details about the 6th century landmarks with the Cardo or the central colonnaded street and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre clearly visible. After seeing the famous church in Madaba, we leave for Mount Nebo, which is approximately 9 km from here. On the way before reaching Mount Nebo, we stop to see a handicrafts shop. All these are mosaic works. Visit us. Uh, this is our association over here. All the girls they work with us, like we see special needs and handicapped. And all these girls, they get support from the queen and from the government. Everybody understand English? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Each one of those girls, by the way, she have to go to the mosaic school for two years. The first year in the school, they teach them how to draw the design. After seeing the mosaic handicraft shop, we are going to Mount Nebo. Mount Nebo is an elevated ridge located in Jordan approximately 2,300 feet above sea level. Now, finally, we reached Mount Nebo and walked up to the mountain top. Part of the Albari mountain range, Mount Nebo is mentioned in the Bible as the place where Moses was granted a view of the promised land before his death. This structure is made by an Italian artist And this is the famous viewpoint of Mount Nebo, where we can see the whole of Jordan Valley. The view from the summit provides a panorama of the West Bank across the Jordan River Valley. This place is very much related with Moses, referred in Bible. On the board, direction of different places are printed, which can be seen from Mount Nebo. According to the Bible, Moses ascended Mount Nebo and from there he saw the land of Canaan, that means the promised land which God had said he would not enter. Moses then died there. Due to foggy conditions, we cannot see the Israel properly, but we can see approximately the border. This is the Mount Nebo Museum of Moses. Bible says Moses' burial place was unknown. A Christian church from Byzantine times stands on the top of Mount Nebo. 
A serpentine cross sculpture atop Mount Nebo was created by Italian artist Fantoni. It is symbolic on the miracle of the bronze serpent invoked by Moses of the cross upon which Jesus was crucified. This is a brilliant mosaic work on the floor of the museum. It is partially damaged now. And this model or rather a rolling stone was used for a door in olden days in the village of Faisala. The city of Jericho is usually visible from the summit as is Jerusalem on a very clear day. After seeing the Mount Nebo, we are heading towards Dead Sea. All the surrounding areas are mountains of the desert. The Dead Sea is a salt lake located in the Judean desert of southern Israel, bordered by Jordan in the east and Israel on the west. It is one of the Earth's saltiest bodies of water and is the lowest point on Earth. The Dead Sea is located at the lowest point on Earth, which is thought to be the result of volcanic processes leading to a continuous dropping of land. This straight road leads to the Dead Sea. It is one of the four saltiest bodies of water in the world. In front, at a distance, we can see the Dead Sea. On the diagram, you can see we are standing at the sea level. And the red spot shows our position. And on the diagram, you can well see that Dead Sea is around 390 meters below the sea level. This is very unique feature of this Dead Sea. Now we can have a first glimpse. Notice that we are going down. That means we are going down below the sea level. Now we are driving beside the Dead Sea. We park our car here in this parking area. This board tells us about the do's and don'ts here in Dead Sea. A lot of tourists are taking bath in the Dead Sea. The other side is Israel. Dead Sea is one of the world's saltiest bodies of water, 9.6 times as salty as the ocean, which makes swimming similar to floating. Lots of tourists have come here today. These tourists have painted their bodies with the mud from the Dead Sea, which is said to have a brilliant effect on the skin. And while you bathe in the Dead Sea, all you need to do is just lie down and you will never get drowned. You'll... This salinity makes for a harsh environment in which plants and animals cannot flourish, hence its name. The Dead Sea has attracted visitors from around the Mediterranean basin for thousands of years. All are enjoying in their own way. Jordan River is the only major water source flowing into the Dead Sea, although there are small perennial springs under and around the Dead Sea forming pools and quicksand pits along the edges. Black mud and it is very good for health and your skin. It vigorizes you and it's excellent. And you see, Dr. Obijit goes, please come here. After taking bath in Dead Sea, we will have lunch here. The restaurant is just beside the Dead Sea. We have completed our visit to this unique Dead Sea and enjoyed very much 
for a few hours here. We'll now return to the city of Amman. We are now on the way to Amman. In my previous video, you have already seen Aqaba with boat cruise in Red Sea, thrilling Wadi Ram Desert, and in my coming videos, you will see the city of Amman and Jerash before we move on to Israel. After seeing my videos, please do like share and comment and please do not forget to subscribe my channel.